up, y'all? I'm Steve with Elevate Presents, and I'm here to talk about how to use a butane torch. Today, we're going to go ahead and talk about this Big Shot Blazer Torch. It's a top-of-the-line torch, and we're going to go ahead and fill this up with some blue butane. The first thing you're going to want to do when you fill up your butane torch is go ahead and remove the top. And if you need any kind of adapter, make sure your adapter is the proper one that goes to the bottom of your torch. These Blazer Butane torches are designed to work seamlessly with a can of butane. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and turn your butane torch upside down. Take this, make sure that the tip lines correctly with there, and press down. Once it fills up and your gas is coming out, you'll see it start to come out and that's when your torch is full. There's absolutely no need to overfill your torch as it's going to cause it to cause too much pressure inside. One thing you want to remember when filling your butane torch is do not fill your torch over a sink or any kind of depressed area. Butane is heavier than air, therefore it will start to pool up inside of those depressed areas and that is not a good thing at all. Also, anytime you're filling up your butane torch, we highly recommend that you do this outside. How long do you fill your butane torch for? Well, that really depends on the capacity that your butane torch has. Is there any in there? Is it completely empty? The big thing is, check out your instruction manual to your torch. Your manufacturer has a lot of good information there. After you fill your butane torch, you're going to want to go ahead and let the torch sit for about one minute. This will allow the butane to go ahead and stabilize inside the torch. Well, now that your torch is filled, how do you go ahead and ignite your torch? The first thing is, always, always make sure that any combustibles are far away from your butane torch. Don't point it at yourself, don't point it at anybody else, don't point it at anything. So go ahead and turn your valve slightly on. You'll go ahead and hear it hissing. Once you hear it hissing, go ahead and press the button. Then you can adjust your torch how you would like to. Go ahead to turn it off, just turn off your valve and your torch is off. Here's a pro tip for your butane torch if it's not quite acting the way it used to when you first got it. With your butane completely turned off on your torch, look down inside. If you see any kind of gunk inside the tip there, you're going to want to go ahead and use an air hose or an air bottle and go ahead and spray that out, keep it really clean. Here's another pro tip if your torch is not lighting like it used to. Sometimes the piezo button no longer lights the torch because the little wire up here has somehow got moved or displaced or messed up. Numerous reasons why that could have happened. So with the making sure that your butane is completely turned off, you're going to take a pick and get inside there and go ahead and move it a little bit away. Sometimes it's touching the metal there, therefore it's not going to create a spark and that spark is what's needed to light the butane. So you need to get it separated. These blazer torches are very, very well crafted and you can go ahead and see that the piezo lighter is actually inside of a ceramic piece, keeping it just the right amount away from the torch head. Well, that's it for me here at Elevate Presents. If you have any more questions on how to use your butane torch or any other questions or concerns, hit the question button down below. Also, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Have a great day.